Hey guys, welcome back. In this first lesson, we're going to talk a bit about what Unity actually is, and then we're going to get started by installing the Unity Hub and the Unity Editor. So first of all, what is Unity? Now, there's a lot of stuff on the website you can check out, but just to give a brief overview, Unity is currently the leading engine on the market. It has the most market share of any engine, and that's simply due to its low barrier whenever you want to enter into the game development world. Unity is the quickest and the best way to get started doing that at this very moment. Now, that's because it's capable of creating 2D games and 3D games that are AAA quality. It's got a very, very uh, powerful language that you can use, uh, C Sharp. It's a Microsoft language. It's fantastic. You can export to any platform you can think of from PC, mobile, consoles, and anything in between. And it's great for beginners and experts alike. So if you're just getting started, this is a great place to start. And if you are an industry veteran and just want to learn what Unity is all about, Unity is a fantastic tool that will help speed up your development process by quite a bit. And in the end, Unity is very capable of creating AAA quality titles. It's just up to whether or not you and your team are able to. So here we go. What is the Unity Hub? This is the first thing we're going to have to install to get started. It allows us, once we have the Hub installed and downloaded, it allows us to install the Unity Editor directly from there. Now, we can install the Editor without the Hub, but the thing the Hub allows us to do is it allows us to manage multiple versions of the Editor, if we would like, if we have a need for that. Maybe we have a project that requires an older version or we're making a tool that needs to work on older versions, so we have to test on older versions of the Editor. And it's important that we do that and we have an easy way to do it. And that's it's, uh, what the Hub is there for. It allows us to manage different projects across different versions of the Editor. And it's simply just this little app you see here that allows us to have our projects here. We have a learning tab where we're going to be able to learn some stuff if we want to. It's not going to go in nearly the depth that we're going to go into for this uh, course and all the courses uh, connected to this course. But it's a good place to get some information and to get some packages that will jumpstart your development. Then you have the installation tab, which is going to show you all of your current installations and allow you to get new ones as they're released and also participate in the beta releases so let's get started by downloading Unity Hub. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to unity3d.com. And there's a lot of information on the, the homepage here that it'll teach you a bit about what Unity can do, what it's made for, and uh, just how powerful it really is. And there's a bunch of things you can check out under uh, Made with Unity games that were made uh, using Unity. And you'll find some inspiration there for sure as there's some really killer titles made with Unity. You probably didn't even know a lot of the games you enjoy every day were built right in this very tool. So for now, though, all we care about is this Get Unity button right here. I'm going to click on that, and that link's going to take me to the store page, store.unity.com. And here we have a few options. Now, if you if it's the first time you're looking at it, you may be turned off by the fact that you see prices here. Right? It's, it's, it's a lot of money, it looks like. But the good thing is, is that for beginners and honestly, up to successful studios, uh, personal is going to do everything you need it to do. And what I mean by that is there's no core engine features that's in pro or plus that's not in the personal version. There are a couple of services that you get extra for pro and plus. Um, but the, the main catch is if you make more than a hundred thousand dollars per year, the company that this Unity version is for, if it makes more than $100,000 per year, not even necessarily from Unity itself, then you have to get uh, a, pl a Plus or a Pro version. Now, there are a couple other benefits to using these, but they don't really matter that much. You, you won't have a custom splash screen if you use the personal version. You also won't have the dark skin if you use the personal version. But I personally use the personal version for everything I do, and it is no problem whatsoever. So we're going to click on Try Personal, and I'm going to go ahead and check that I confirm all this stuff here, of course. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the hub. Now, like I said, you can download the installer for the editor directly, but I don't want to do that. I want the hub. So I'm going to download Unity Hub. And I'm going to run this installer. And when you do, you're going to see a simple agreement to the terms of service. We know how to do that. Just going to agree to that. And if you want to read it, go ahead. And then we're going to select where we want to install it. 
Uh, in my case, I just keep it right inside the program files there. And now this shouldn't take too long to install simply because you're only installing the hub itself. You're not installing Unity itself at this point. So once this finishes though, we're gonna jump in there and we're gonna actually start installing the editor. And what we're gonna do here is once hub is open, we're gonna go to an installation tab. We're gonna go down to official releases and we're gonna find the latest version that's available. To me, it's 2018.2.2. 10F1. We're going to download that and then let it install. Now, whenever we click download, it's going to open up this window here that's going to allow us to select some components. There's a lot of stuff here, but the important thing to remember, you can always come back later and install what you do not have if you need it. In my case, I don't need Android build or iOS build or Linux or all that stuff down here. There's going to be a lot of options, a lot of different packages. But in my case, I just want the documentation and the latest version. And then we're going to click done. And when we do that, it's going to start installing that version of Unity with those settings. And again, you can always come back and add the components you need. Say maybe you decided, oh, I need to build for Android now. So you have to come get that package. Just run the installer the exact same way and install the components you need just like that. And that's going to be all we have to do to install Unity on our systems. In the next lesson, we're going to take this installed version of Unity and we're going to create a project and we're going to get started messing around in the Unity editor itself. And we're going to talk a bit about what the bits and pieces are and how some of the basic stuff works before jumping into some more of the in-depth stuff. That's the next lesson, guys. My name is Austin and I will see you there.